Welcome to Dominica. We made it to the waterfall. Oh, That's why we make a great couple. We're gonna be married. God, you got ready. Show kings, rise up! Wow! Setting, of course. After having celebrated New Year's Eve in St. Lucia, we sailed up north again, back to Martinique, where we had some boat parts waiting on us in the mail. It was time for work. Good morning and welcome to the Caribbean. Little did you think that the Caribbean was only fun and games, huh? It's only fun and games, you might think. It's only diving and fun and sunscreen and snorkeling. But no, it's also hard work. Today it's a uh, working day. Dang, what have you been doing on your stomach, bro? I'm all, you know, glass fiber. Glass fiber? Yeah. That's what we do, only work. Actually, uh, right now we have nine people on board. Nine people did sleep in this boat tonight. And that's pretty amazing. And this over here is Philip Jensen. Uh, yeah, hi. I'm Philip. I hope you've met me before. If you haven't, we are of course. I am of course. What are you doing down here, Mr. Man? I'm uh, picking up uh, even more red wine because someone doesn't put real protection around it. Someone, and not to name any names, thought it was a really good idea to put wine without the cardboard boxing around them in the bilge. We uh, have uh, learned the hard way yeah. that it was not a good uh, idea. Don't do that. So uh, this is the second time we're picking it up. Yeah. The last time, I don't know how many liters it was, but it was a lot. We bought like three or five liter wine dunks. We removed the cardboard boxes so that it took less space, but they started tearing apart or just started opening themselves. So therefore we have wine in the bilge. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing, Philip. Thank you. I will share more later. Out here we have uh, more, even more people. Hello, guys. Today, fill up oil on this one. All right. It's a wild one, this one, yeah. So you need to fill up oil on the back side here. And then you can charge your phone here. So it's basically a huge power bank with like dinosaurs inside. Whoa. So you make dinosaurs into iPhone juice. From dinosaurs to iPhone juice. <laughs> That's actually amazing. And also yeah. it has a little key, a little cute key. It's like a car. <laughs> Rev up the Bugatti! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing, sir. Uh, no problem, I got you. And this is Torgrime. Right sir? there. Right there. Huh? We're fixing the shifting mechanism. Shifting the shifting mechanism. Right. That's a lot of shift. To this. Whoa, old? Old. Brand new. New? Yeah. So uh, now we don't have to stand in the engine room and flick the flick the switch, right? That's right. Yeah. That's amazing. Have Quite you done nice. this before? Yeah, a couple of times. Yeah, you have, right? Because unlike all the other guys on board, uh, Todd Grimm actually knows what he's doing. Uh <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the perks of having friends that are mechanics. That they know their shit, unlike this guy. I just read the manual. <laughs> <laughs> it's working day, we have all the boys on deck. Like physical labor, manual labor, Emmanuel label, labor. Well, actually, this has been a long time coming. We haven't had the gear shifting mechanism or the gas throttle in place for a long time. All the way from between uh, Gran Canaria and Cape Verde. We've had to manually shift gears and like rev the engine from the engine room. Is our party in the engine room? Which is not as safe and as precise as if you had the handle. So that's great. I don't know why they call it the Red Sea. Why? That's why. Mine is just by the computer. He's yeah. trying to take my job or something. I don't know. What are you doing? I'm uh, putting in the passport information for checking into the next country. Oh, Dominica. Because planning is key. Planning is key. Yeah. Let's stay uh, planned. Nice. Yeah. Marius loves planning, unlike me. So uh, that's why we make a great couple. Yeah. We're gonna be married soon. Yeah. Yeah, actually. It's called Sail Player. It's like a web page you put in every passport information you need for checking into another country in Caribbean. And you send it to the office, the immigration office, and then they have all the information and you can just stamp the passports and finish. So I don't need to like stand there alone filling out this A4 paper forms with fucking pen, pen yeah. for nine people. We've been in the Caribbean, Caribbean for like three weeks maybe now. We've already been to three countries. Yeah. Right? We're gonna visit a lot of countries in a yeah. short period of time. Yeah. It's gonna make me... Uh... Make your life easier? Yeah, correct. Exactly. Hey yo. What do you what? think you're doing, huh? I'm switching out the lights. Switching them out? Yeah, so we can have a brighter light in here. And the guest room has a working light. Nice. Because it's ruined right now. All right. So, I'm just changing them out. 
And also you change out the one in the bathroom, right? Yeah. In the, in the starboard bathroom? Now it's working. Because what happened there, Jürgen? <clears throat> well, the bathroom got overflown with water. So the light all the way up in the roof got flooded with water and it got ruined. How did that happen, you might ask? Well, let me show you. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. We finished up our work in Martinique and headed up north to Dominica. Welcome to Dominica. You say you want that thing, let us say I want that thing green. Two shots in the air, boom, boom, da win. If I pull the trigger, do we only gonna get war? So find a different way, we gonna set that place on me, say. Arrive. Hey, he's been for a while. <laughs> he's been for a while. She just came. He just came. You just came too. Me? <laughs> <laughs> so what we're gonna do is the same way you go in, the same way you come back out. Don't yeah. take no other route. You swim, enjoy the water. It's a bit cold, but you're from Norway. You know what's cold weather. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Here we fucking go. This shit is slippery. <laughs> Welcome to today's vlog and also welcome to this guy! Hello! This is the newest member of the Sailing of Course family. Well, at least for a couple of weeks. What's your name, sir? Uh, my name is uh, Henrik Bowen. Who are you, sir? I am a boy from uh, Nutteray, just as uh, these boys. And I have been traveling from Australia to Bali to Caribbean. That's a long ass uh, uh, travel, uh, sir. Yeah. How long did it take you? Uh, four days, almost. <laughs> Seriously? Like, co continuously traveling. That's insane. But yeah, Henrik is a very good friend of us. He's gonna stay uh, uh, about a month. So now we're, uh, we've filled up the boat. We have uh, Lance, Ida and Torgrim and Kjetil that came a couple of days after them. And now Henrik. So we're gonna have a blast and I'm out of breath. But here's this guy. Hey, what up, dog? This, uh, you have seen him before. He has been with us to Denmark and he's been with us before. And now he's here again. A local sailor. No. Lo local uh, sailor from loyal, far away. Loyal sailor. Local and lo loyal sailor. <laughs> What's his name? K-Dog. K-Dog. <laughs> his name is K-Dog. Yeah, in Norwegian, but it's easier with K-Dog. Bro, look at this. <laughs> wow. Look at this. Dominica is supposed to be one of the less changed islands, like industrial <coughs> and so this is the island that's been kept the same for the longest of the Caribbean islands. And we can see that it's freaking jungle everywhere. Oh. This is great. This is great. Yeah, go ahead. Is it is it ganja break? We are starting to hear some sounds from the falls. Let's see what they're all about, shall we? This is not for the faint-hearted guys. Sir? This is a serious hike, like yeah. for real? Like, that ass. That ass, no joke. Whoa! <laughs> Look uh -huh. at that! It is going straight down. It is going straight down. God damn. Yeah, yeah you first. Yeah. Oh. There's waterfall. Short kings, way up. Short kings, rise up! We made it! We made it to the waterfall! Look at this! here and it's the rocks are so slippery jump in jump in
Corse. Okay, now we're suddenly at some new place. It's a cave with a waterfall inside of it. We're gonna see Jack Sparrow. <laughs> yeah, this is where they filmed, filmed uh, the grave inside, like the grotto thing. That's in here. Mm. Bruv! <laughs> Look at that for another song, huh? Oh, okay. Get the ass off. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go. Let's go, 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 We have reached our third destination for the day. What is that, Philip? It's a hot spring where it's gonna be hot. <laughs> <laughs> the water smells like shit, but but it feels good. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel real good right now. It's hot. It's warm. It's rainy. It's cold. I'm full. I've been drinking beer, eating ice cream, climbing mountains, seeing. Locals, uh, waterfalls. Waterfalls, you know, I'm with my friends, not in Norway. I'm having a good time right now. Straight up, dog, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so, there are three different pools with different uh, temperatures. Basically, this area is called the escape. The water is very wholesome, it's very um, nourishing for the body. It's um, from the volcano, when the water is heated up from the earth, you make your a pipe and you bring it straight to the pool. You don't have to heat up anything, it's all natural. It's gravity flow, you don't have no pumps. Yeah. It's just that it's coming way up in the mountain. Minerals such as iron, sulfur and zinc, that's what you will find in the water. There are different pools with different temperature because they come from different sources. So we're going to go to the coldest one and then straight to the warmest one to maximum enjoyment. Was it cold? Yeah. We just got to go in, bro. <laughs> yes, sir. It's almost like ice plunging. You got to, you got to. You just got to do good. it. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. What did you want to show me? I want to show you. What is this, sir? What? Is this is, of course, facility. What do you think so? At least now it is. It's ours. Hell yeah, or, bro. Or it, it's yours. Yeah, but it's ours, kind of. Because you're kind of our manager, right, sir? I am your manager. And I'm managing to having a good time right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Look at this. Straight up good time. And for even more straight up good times, <laughs> make sure to stay tuned for our next vlog, coming very soon. Toodles! Of course.